Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Roy and I do advanced 3D printing and 3D modeling content. Today we are going to look at using support blockers in Cura. This is very useful on complex part with a lot of internal supports to avoid removing unnecessary support. So let's get going. So here is the part I've chosen. So this part needs to be printed with support all over the place. It has a lot of internal um, bridging uh, which uh, need support. So the color red on this part indicates where we need support. Not all of these red marks need support. I'm gonna use support blockers so that we don't have to pick out supports like inside the holes and whatnot. First of all, let's slice this. I'm choosing a profile at 0.25 millimeter. We can have a look at my profile first. So layer height 0.25, line width is 0.5, at the wall lines is 0.5. Top bottom layer I've chosen 0.6, I'm using a 0.5 nozzle. And I have four wall lines, which means a two millimeter shell. Same with the top bottom layers, two millimeters, that's eight layers of 0.25 so i use optimized wall printing order uh, printing thin walls skin overlap percenters i up to 10 percent that's for better adhesion so i'm using 25 percent infill on this part i'm uh, using grid infill uh, also using connect infill lines it gives you a stronger part this part i'm printing with cpe and uh, temperature is uh, set to 260 and then 95 on the bed 95 percent flow and printing this part at 50 millimeter a second with 3000 in axle, 10 in uh, print jerk. Also using C hop when retracted at 0.5. Fan speed set to 30%. 30 to 40% is fine for PET G type material. I will not use a brim here. If you use a brim, it will clog up uh, underneath here, and we don't want that. We can have a look and uh, see how that will look. So as you see, it will clog up everything. We don't want that. So that's why I'm going with a skirt here. So let's just slice this part uh, normally without support first. I will show you some tricks to be able to have um, better um, wall thickness. If we have a look here, we can see that this green line is not uniform. It is presented by dots. It means that the extruder will uh, stop and start uh, all the time and that's not optimal for our part. Even though this should be uniform with 0.5 uh, ley lines, sometimes uh, Cura does not uh, make it to fit. So what I'm gonna do is inside my settings, I'm gonna go to the wall line width and I'm gonna set 0.499. Now you can see we have a uniform line. Now it's perfect. Gives us a much more uniform print and a quicker print. Let's just go down and have a look inside. You should always do this. Now it's uniform here and it looks okay here as well. There's some yellow uh, dots here, but uh, we just have to say that this is okay. These walls are also important to be uniform, which they are. So these are good settings for this part. Now we need to add support. So create support and we are going to use uh, everywhere. Uh, well, let's start with 15%. I'm also going to use support brim and I'm using support C distance at 0.2 millimeter. I'm also putting a support roof on top of uh, these supports. I'll show you what that means later. So let's slice it. Here you can see a lot of support. So what you see here in the bottom is the support brim. Sometimes the support falls over and these lines in the, the bottom will make it stand up better. But there's a lot of these supports which we can remove. Let's go to prepare. I'm gonna remove the holes because the holes will print fine without support. So click the part, go to support blocker, start clicking the red areas. So one there, one there, we need uh, one here, and another one, one more there, same over here. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, inside here we need support blocker also over here and over there so now we have done all the holes we can also do this G we don't want support inside this um, it can bridge fine and now I want to expand this support blocker a little bit so just click the support block and go to scale uncheck uniform scaling and we can start to scale it so this should do the trick we can move it a little bit it's not so important I will bring it a little bit outwards so it doesn't um, stop our in, in internal supports inside here. This is good. Now let's do another slice with the preview. Now we can see we stopped all the holes from having support, which we want. Also the G is fine, but there is more and this is a little bit more complex because I don't want support under here. So I need the support blocker there. Again, click the part, go to support blocker and just click up inside here. And we need to scale it. So click it or to scale and drag it around. Find the right um, handle to drag a little bit in the C direction. And I'm going to move it. So I want to move this downwards. Let's go to move and let's go to set zero. Also, I want to move it a little bit inside here you can move it also a little bit more over here and i need to scale it a little bit more in the red direction and go to move again and i'll place it right there to be sure that we cover everything i want to move it down negative one let's slice this now you can see this is perfect because this will bridge just fine so we don't need support here so let's make another bottom support block over here click the block go to scale scale it out move it about here and then down of course we need to scale it a little bit in the c direction and move it down negative one it's a little bit too high so I'm, I'm gonna just bring it a little bit lower you can put it like here let's slice it this looks perfect so the dark blue lines on top of the support is interface layer the interface layer gives you a better underside of the part being printed so you have more support here if we didn't use the interface layer we will have, have this to print on which is not so good but it works best with interface layers on uh, horizontal uh, areas so if you have a slope area the interface layer will not work so good but this is what i want so that's it for how to use support blockers i hope this is useful and you can use it to something remember to subscribe for more 3d printing 3d modeling and prototyping content recently started a new design on a new printer with true bend leveling and uh, all rails in XYZ. I will make some videos on uh, that project. Have a nice day and see you soon.